Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Finch's Flight. In the last episode, Finch made his own colony in the Highlands, the Feather Colony, where he's already making brand new friends too. He started off by attracting a guard to his doorstep, Claudius, who might just be the most adorable cat I have ever seen. Where did you get your training, Finch? You fight with the strength of a hundred cats. Well, Claudius, we actually got that from our mother, Penny Cat, who is still living in the forest colony. And unfortunately, the forest colony is one of our enemies right now. They are kind of knocking on our doorstep, using this pathway that Penny carved before to sniff around our territory. So we're going to have to check out these battles soon. Though this one over here is actually one that we set up with Claudius, so we'll have to see that one first. It looks like it's just a normal territory skirmish, so I guess that means that we can place down the second one wherever we like. That's actually a pretty handy thing, because then we'll be able to push more effectively in directions that we want to go to. But Finch, I think you're going to want to maybe munch on a little bit of breakfast first, some of your sweet berries, of course, to regain your energy, and then let's uh, drop off a little bit of extra catnip at Claudius's doorstep so he knows that we're thinking about him too. A great and noble thing you offer me. I greatly accept, Finch. All right, so you keep the borders safe, Claudius. We're going to go out and try to uh, see what we can get into over on the western portions of the territory. Hopefully, we will be victorious. We better try to scoop up some of these mice too while we still have the chance. It is just about the middle of autumn now, so we have to consider our food stores as well. But is this where the battle was? Okay, directly below us now. So let's make sure our battling abilities are at the ready, our deep cut skill, and our lion's roar too. That one actually turned out to be pretty helpful because it kind of scares all of the enemy cats and makes them scatter. Oh, they're on the other side of the, uh, of the cliffs, but I think they're actually climbing up here. It's super hard to tell because all of our cats are fighting them, like, right at the top of the screen. Well, that was rather unfortunate. It looks like that caused them to wipe out all of our guards, too. But we're still doing a pretty good job taking them out one at a time. And let's scatter them with our mighty roar. Send them running so we can focus on a just gaunt up here. Get him out of the way and then go after a racer, perhaps? Yeah, they hit us pretty hard because we are technically on hard mode right now. I figured that would be the best way to play out Finch's story, because we know the Mountain Domain is not going to let him rest up in the Highlands. But I think Claudius is going to be very, very proud of us, little Ruby. We did a pretty good job out here. We'll just go ahead and pick up all of our Valerian plants, and uh, maybe spread some extra lavender in this direction too. That way we can chip away at their territory and eventually claim this as our own. So I think we'll go back and uh, potentially set up another one of the skirmishes right on the same tile. That way tomorrow we should be able to take it over entirely. But first, let's check out the second battle in the area to see if our cats need a little bit of extra help there too. Hopefully this one won't be right on the cliff sides, so we'll actually be able to see what's going on. We'll just have Finch take a couple of his golden seals so we can heal along the way, and then jump on in there to see who we're fighting today. Yet more of those mountain domain cats. This is exactly what we expected from them though. Just two more to take out. Can you do it, Chestnut? Unfortunately, we lost all of our guards in this battle too, but we're just starting out, so I guess that's to be expected. We're going to have to really strengthen our numbers before any super strong individuals are willing to lend a paw in our battles. And that's why I think it might be a good idea for us to spend some time with Coco today as well. Maybe we can see if we can possibly set up another den around here. I think we should have enough Muse for the healer's den. And considering that we have uh, so many battles to contend with right now, right on our doorstep, that might help us out considerably. So would you mind perhaps showing me your blueprints again? We have a doctor's den worth 400 Muse. That means we won't have enough Muse to buy too much more after this. 
but I feel like this is definitely needed. We'll want our healer's den to be somewhere a little bit more secluded, I think. We have our um, guard's den right by the borders, but we want to make sure that our healer's den is very well fortified, so they don't have to worry about getting into any scraps themselves. In fact, I feel like on the opposite end of the lake might be a good place to set them up. Maybe even right over here in the corner. Very close to our den, so we should be able to talk to them easily. And that's something that Finch would want to do quite often because he'll need to know if we're running low on any supplies. So just like before, hopefully this is going to be enough to attract a brand new cat to our door. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful cat. Hello, sweetheart. A great leader honors their followers with their presence. A warm west breeze is pleasant, but a north wind chills the bones. Your essence is westerly, and thus it is pleasant to meet you. Gallen, you are absolutely adorable, and I love your blue fur. I am called Gallen. I specialize in the wisdom of herbs and plants. It is nice to meet you. I found this empty den and decided to move in. I hope you won't mind me. Not at all. In fact, we are going to smother you with herbs pretty soon, because we know that plenty of our cats are going to be coming to you looking for healing. Let's uh, learn a little bit more about you too. A wise ruler builds strong defenses to protect their citizens, but defenses come in more varieties than just walls. Yeah, like um, herbs and doctors, for instance, so Galen would know best. Well, just like we did for Claudius, I feel like a little welcome gift is in order. Some catnip for you to tuck away in the back of your den, perhaps. You give me great honor with this gift. You are a wise friend. Very, very wise for offering up some of the uh, best catnip in the forest. Let's go ahead and give them some of the herbs too, because the doctors always do seem to appreciate that. Probably a little bit more than Claudius did. A fine gift turns a day into a celebration. Thank you. We'll give you one more, but I think we're probably going to have to go out and find some more herbs now. Spend the rest of the night just hunting around to increase our own supplies. It'll be easier to do so without any of those skirmishes in the way. Oh, and speaking of which, let's make sure that we talk to Claudius before he goes to sleep for the night. Because he does seem to go in a little bit earlier than most cards we know. So yeah, let's send our cats back to the same tile. That way we should be able to take it over completely as soon as uh, the day passes over. But for now, we're going to search out for more of those marigolds, more of the golden seals of the forest. Anything to uh, supply our doctor with what he'll need to keep our cats strong. So just like before, if you guys have any suggestions as far as uh, names and colors go for these new cats, then let me know, because I think it would be fun to customize them all for Finch's story. I'm recording this episode earlier, so I haven't had the chance to see your other suggestions yet, but next time we'll figure out what we're going to do for Claudius too. It's so tricky because basically any direction we go in, we're going to run the risk of uh, running into enemy cats. So we're just going to have to be particularly mindful, watch our backs as we wander around, so we don't accidentally stumble into any major skirmishes. This is where the quarry is too. We actually live very, very close to the prairie quarry. This is a place that I bet Finch would love to keep under his control, because then we should be able to work for the moles too. And I know they had a lot of really interesting colors inside their shop, so if that's what we use to potentially like change the colors of our different cats, we might want to consider spending some time looking for gems. All of the cats who join us are going to have to be very, very hardy though. I think they all realize that a life in the Highlands is not going to be the easiest thing in the world, especially with all of the other cats of the forest already contending with this area. So they'll have to be brave, they'll have to be wise like Gallen seems to think of Finch. It's nice that all of the cats so far have been so friendly toward their new leader. Nobody has really seemed to uh, contest the idea of Finch taking over the Highlands. And that alone has to be a big confidence boost for Finch. As a brand new leader, 
he probably feels like he's doing a pretty good job. He's doing his mother proud at the very least. She would be so happy to see him making his way in the world. This is all that she ever really wanted to see of her kittens. And it's why she spent so much time training them up while they were very, very young. We'll go ahead and use our lavender on the tile to our right, I suppose, since that one at least is kind of like connected to our territory. I'm pretty sure, just like we did with the forest colony, we just have to make sure that it's touching one of our other tiles before we can claim it ourselves. But again, this gives us some more breathing room to work with. And it also means that we almost have all of the Highland tiles to ourselves. Then we can consider making our own pathways toward the sacred temple, so we might be able to talk a bit more often with the forest guardian. I wonder if they're going to have anything new to say to us, now that we have taken on this place as our own, now that we're carving out a name for ourselves as a brand new leader. Maybe if we continue to invite even more cats, they'll be particularly impressed with us, because that would certainly show that we're restoring the balance as they intended. But it's super late now, so let's have a little Finch stumble his way back home, and we'll have him curl up to sleep so we should be ready to uh, charge back out into battle tomorrow. It'll be fun to eventually upgrade his den just like Penny's was too. We do have to consider maybe making a little nursery in the future. I'm sure Finch is going to want to continue his family as soon as we have uh, more cats out here, more potential bachelorettes for him to choose from when he does have kittens on his mind. He's far too young for that right now, of course, and far too concerned with expanding his territory. So good morning, little Gallon. Certain herbs must be split open before they are useful. Others you can just chew right off the stem. Make sure you don't ever try to use an herb you aren't familiar with. Even some plants with healing properties can be toxic if misapplied. Oh, like the snake lily. I wonder if Gallon would enjoy getting us snake lilies as a gift, or if they would only prefer the nicer plants that would heal all of their allies. We'll give the valerian a try next. This is a pleasing thing. I accept your generosity. All right, so at least we know somebody who really likes to receive little of Valerian plants as a gift. And it looks like we even have our third star with Gallon too. So we're really rising in the ranks with this one. Pretty soon we are going to be best friends. Let's go ahead and have you munch on some of your favorite frogs though. Some frogs for breakfast. Something tells me that's not what Claudius would enjoy. He likes his bunnies just like Scout. What are your hobbies, my liege? Swimming is mine. It is good for training. Oh, no wonder you came here then. This is the perfect place for you, isn't it? Anytime that he wants to do a little bit of extra training, build up his strength maybe, he can just take a quick dip in the lake. So I guess that means we might want to consider giving him fish. Typically the cats who like water do also enjoy these sorts of gifts. Thank you, Finch. Yeah, he seemed pretty pleased by that. I think he still did like the bunnies a bit better. Yeah, I mean, look at that face. He is so happy with this bunny breakfast. So we'll have to see if we can find some more as we go out today, so we can give him that last gift. You know, what might be helpful is if maybe we can upgrade our skills. Yeah, it looks like we can either upgrade a hunting or fighting right now. So, we'll do the hunting. We've been barely scraping by with fighting, thanks to our very well-trained enemies. But it's so important to gather our supplies right now that I feel like hunting might be the better one to focus on. So let's see if we can scoop up this little bunny. There we go. The little extra training has definitely done you well. We have a mouse for you to store away in your den for later. And then I do believe that our next battle should be very, very close. So let's go charging in to the one in the west to hopefully claim that tile before we get a too tired from all of our hunting, pouncing after bouncy little bunnies. But Finch has a lot of practice with that since he does love catching frogs so much. All right, I think it might be time for you to use your lion's roar to scare these cats away. Make them scatter so you can land a few good hits on the ones on the outskirts. 
Yeah, they're not interested in attacking us when we use that lion's roar. So it is a super, super good way for us to gain the upper hand. But that being said, Finch is having a little bit of trouble now. Let's go ahead and munch on some of our berries to give him a boost in confidence so we can take out a couple more. And now we're just down to two. Rocky and Cappuccino. Leo's going to have to do a little bit better than this if he wants to truly push us out of the highlands. Now we just barely, barely are missing the last little percentage that we need to claim this tile as our own. And then we'll only have uh, the Highland North left to chip away at. This seems like it might be a good time for us to consider putting our new doctor's abilities to the test, considering that we do have quite a bit of uh, energy to heal before we go into the next battle. And honestly, just not enough herbs to spare. I think we're going to have to start breaking into Penny's gifts pretty soon. The little less stashes that she's hidden away throughout the world. I'm sure Finch would like to keep them for the seasons to come, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So hello again, Galen. We are back once more to this time ask you if you wouldn't mind healing us up. Let me see what's the matter. I can treat you fully for 14 mews if you'd like, or I can just give you a small dose for 8 mews. Yeah, go ahead and treat me fully. We want to make sure that we're in tip-top shape so we can go back into battle. Your wounds have been tended. Thank you so much, Galen. So he is pretty darn good at his job, it seems. Yeah, we'll go ahead and scoop up all of these uh, little herbs that Penny left for us. And then we'll give you that one last bunny that we promised you. Ah, uh, I was just looking for one of these. Thank you, my liege. No problem at all, Claudius. You keep our borders safe. Well, we head back into battle and take care of all of those mountain cats. It's always the mountain cats. At least this time, it doesn't look like there's too many for us to worry about. The squire was very wiry. All right, good job, Wind and Kiki. Let's see, I have five Valerian, four Golden Seal. Still need two Lavender to round out the day. Oh good, it looks like uh, they might be trying to find some resources. Have you heard about this new cat, Finch? Rumor has it they just showed up one day to our colony. Well, Kiki, I mean, I kind of founded the colony. I didn't just show up one day. I'm the only reason why you're here, little one. Oh, but we might not be done with the mountain colony yet. It looks like they are actually sending in some more reinforcements. So we'll get rid of you too. And then maybe go down this way because this was where that cat showed up from. Does that mean that they're trying to maybe take over this prairie cops too? This was one of the tiles where we actually had to uh, help out the forest guardian. It was one of the many, many places with those special puzzles. I wonder if that means that you could also set up a colony here. It seems like a pretty decent place for a colony in all honesty. Kind of like a little mini version of the Highland Lake that we have. But you would have a trap door straight to the forest guardian's puzzles sitting under your feet. We'll have to start thinking about what other cats we want to invite to our colony. Which ones we want to go for next. Basically who we want to save up for with our muse. We could either try to invite one of the uh, potentially marriageable cats. That might be an interesting thing for us to experiment with. Or we could try to save up for the shopkeeper to see if maybe they would have anything special to sell us. And speaking of which, it might be a good idea for us to go visit the uh, forest colony again, go visit our old home, say hello to all of our old friends, Mare and Ember. I bet they probably miss seeing Finch around. And of course, Scout too. We'll have to, uh, Oh dear, it looks like they're coming charging out after us. Hello, Captain. I'm sorry for invading your territory. We're just looking around for some herbs to take back home. I'm sure our mother would understand. But yeah, we'll have to go say hi to our dad, Scout, too. See how everybody's doing. As we scoop up yet another power paw to uh, tuck away in our back pocket. We'll have to set up some gifts to give to Mare and the rest. Well, technically to Sarge, I guess it would be, because of course he is their guard. That way we'll have enough uh, reputation with them to see what they're hiding inside their shops. Because something tells me that's where we'll have to look if we want to maybe unlock different styles of buildings and whatnot. 
But let's just steal a couple more of these lavender plants. Another little golden seal. And then we'll have Finch uh, warp back home. That way he can curl up inside his den and get ready for the next big adventure. So unfortunately, I think we did forget to strategize with a Claudius. But we're doing pretty good so far. We're slowly but surely expanding our territory to every last corner of the highlands, and then we'll be ready to chip away at the prairie too. So let me know what you would like to see Finch save up for next, and hopefully in the next episode we can get to work uh, selling off some of our extra items. We are going to store away our herbs though, because of course Penny taught Finch very, very well. And we know that he's going to need plenty of extra herbs, since the mountain domain is such a strong force, we have to be prepared for the harsh winter season. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!